Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We have Season 1, Episode 6, and the final episode of Season 1 of my Arsenal career mode series on FIFA's Realism mod. We have the semi-finals first up in the FA Cup against Manchester United. Unfortunately, Thomas Partey is out with a red card, so we're going to bring on Gwen Dozy as his replacement. It's all to play for in the final month of this season. We're going to be wrapping up Season 1, and I can't wait to see how we do. So, mathematically, we technically can still qualify for the Champions League, but it does look more likely that next season and Season 2 are either going to be a Europa League side or a conference side. However, we've got United coming up. Semi-finals, FA Cup. If we could get to the final, that would be amazing. Unfortunately, we, we got embarrassingly knocked out. I think it was in the third or fourth round in the Carabao Cup. Really shamefully. But we go to Wembley here, the home of football. We're going to be facing Rol Ralph Ranić's Manchester. I think it's Rolf. I think you technically say that in if you're a German. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be facing Ralph Ranić's Manchester United, who are currently battling it out with Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. They could very well win the Premier League in this first season, which is quite insane. But anyway, FA Cup, it's all to play for. It's going to be incredibly exciting, and I can't wait to go through the stats and overall just look at our season as a whole. All right, let's get stuck in. Gwendozi on the ball to Odegaard. Isaac holding the ball well. Nice little bit of skill. Sterling, one-two pass. Sanchez beats one and two, and David Dahia. One-nil. Renato Sanchez, League 1 champion. Makes it 1-0 with an absolute rocket off his boot. Charging forward, the Portuguese international gives Cristiano <laughs> a bit of a wink and a shrug. Oh my god, Alexander Isaac with a nice bit of trickery there. And a beautiful scoop turn by the Portuguese midfielder. Burning pass Manchester United's brand new signed centre-back, Longley, from Barcelona. And there he is. In the realism mod that we're playing on the PC version of FIFA, Rolf Ranić is the Manchester United boss, not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and that's a really good face scan. They did they did a really good job uh, modelling Ralph Ranić there. But we're one 0 up thanks to G Sanchez. Let's go! My God, Sanchez is running the show in this match, firing it up to Sterling. Just needs to be Danny Carver. How does with the pass, Isaac? Long leg containing well. Sterling back on the inside to Gwendozi. Uh, looking to play off the pass to Saka. Edge of the area again. <sighs> okay. Sanchez hits it with his left this time. Oh, he's non-preferred. He's done all right there. But this time around, David De Gea managed to get a <laughs> an elite save onto it as well. That was world class by him. Odegaard puts his hand up. To do the Ted Lasso special, I guess. Ball in. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo clears. In Babu was um, marking him. So he can score from there from time to time. Anyway, and Babu back on it. Isaac. Oh my god, we're just letting in screamers, United. 2-0. Odegaard scores an absolute banger there. And we're 2-0 up in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Against Manchester United. Wowee, this is our trophy. We've got FA Cup blood in our veins as Odegaard, the Norwegian with ice in his veins, whew, scores a left foot, edge of the box thriller, hit it with the outside of his boot as well, cutting away, David De Gea concedes a second, and then Ralph Ranić furious again. Gabriel trying to bring it out from the back. Good pass to Sanchez, who fires it up to Isaac, and he might have caught Varane here. Good back pass in the end. What a guard. Terrible, but it's going to fall to Sterling, and it's another goal. It's going to stay down the flag, I think. Yep, Sterling makes it 3-0, and we are absolutely embarrassing the Red Devils at Wembley. It was a bad pass in the end, but Sterling puts his name on the score sheet. The former citizen from Manchester City makes it 3-0. Oh, my God. 
with the next-gen graphics. That looks so cool with the sky contrasting with the white pearl seats of Wembley and overhanging. Ronaldo, United eager to get back into this match, lays it off to Sancho, a brilliant roulette, McTominay to Rashford, and United get back a goal. Never, never underestimate United. That's a brilliant goal there by Marcus Rashford in the end. The Red Devils are now angry and furious. Great ball in. Marcus Rashford with the run. What technical ability to break away there. And an outstanding finish to top it off. 3-1. Hopefully, it's no more than a consolation goal in the, at this point. Rashford finds Martial. McTominay, Fred... Having a really good resurgence in real life. Martial! Oh! United bring it back to 3-2. United scored two back-to-back -back goals. And it's a blinding goal there by Martial. And he likes Ralph Ranić. Come on, I've parked the bus. We just need to hold on for a little bit longer. Yes! The full-time whistle is blown. And a spectacular performance from Arsenal. Books us a place in the FA Cup final. Let's go, man. Huge opportunity in Season 1. Okay, so we've got the last month in May to finish it off. Okay, we've managed to have a 1-0 victory over West Ham. Unfortunately, Odegaard picked up a red. We managed to beat them even with their bubbles. We hosted Leeds at the Emirates. We managed to beat them 2-1 thanks to Martinelli and Saka. Okay, so after 35 games played, we're currently in 6th place. We're drawing with Spurs. However, Man City are currently 2 points ahead of us. Chelsea as well are currently 4. So we can't mathematically finish in 3rd. 2nd um, and 1st place is probably out of our way. But Liverpool or United are going to probably win the league. Which is crazy. It's between the two German sides. Um, Watford, Brentford and Norwich look like they're going to get relegated. Okay, so we have a match against Manchester United here, which we desperately need to win because we want to make top four. And we can actually, I guess we're gifting the league to Liverpool if we beat them, which I don't mind. I think there's a bigger rivalry historically and yeah, maybe in world football. I would imagine Arsenal fans hate United fans more so than Liverpool fans, to be honest. I might be misreading that. I feel like there's a mutual admi admiration. I'm not an Arsenal fan, so let me know in the comments. Yeah, I think there's a mutual a admiration for Liverpool between Arsenal supporters. And maybe even vice versa to some extent. There's a lot of tr players that go between there as well. Uh, Ox was the last one in recent memory. But anyway. Ronaldo. Heavily stung by their FA Cup knockout in the semis. 3-2. They've got a point to prove. Cristiano. In Babu. Intercepts, Fernandez to Ronaldo, Cristiano. It's only taken United five minutes to put their first goal up. A wonderful goal by Cristiano. See at the Emirates. A inch perfect goal by Cristiano. Not too much you can do about that. Particularly with the fancy footwork of Fernandez. Puts it on a plate. And, oh my god, he's just sensational, isn't he, Cristiano? 36 years of age. There are no players at his, his age with that fitness. And just that clinical finishing still. He absolutely bins that. Top right bins. Leno had no chance. And well, really snatched and grabbed at the effort. 1-0. The Red Devils lead at the Emirates. We've got work to do, boys. Sanchez back to Sterling from his red card. Sterling. Probably should have the better of Danny Carver, how? Thomas. Partey! Nearly snuck that one in, but just went wide left of the post. That's a brilliant attempt by the Ghanaian. And Thomas Partey is denied. 
All right. Substitution. Scott McTominay coming off. And Arsenal with a pretty dangerous throw-in opportunity. Partey ball over the top. Saka needs to win it. Can't tell his heads are clear. 1-0. We need, we need points. We need a win, to be honest. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo comes off. And Edison Cavani comes on. Saka. Odegaard. Arsenal. Still not down and out for the count. Coming to the late second half here. Saka. A lot of Arsenal players in the box. Brilliant ball into Sanchez on the volley. Yes! It's 1-1. We've tied things up. Oh, my God. Phew. Where would we be without Renato Sanchez? And to be fair, Saka, that was some crazy intelligence. Gabriel's trying to build it up from the back. Finds Odegaard. Saka. Isaac. Oh, come on. This is a golden opportunity for the Gunners. Isaac, holding the ball well, needs to make the timed pass perfectly. He sneaks it onside to Thomas Partey, who does a bit of skill. Step overs galore. Isaac, Thomas Partey, Saka with the sweaty goal. 2-1. Have we won it in the depth? Oh, my God. Park the bus. Park the bus. Arsenal's going to park the bus. Here we go now. Oh my god, Thomas Party with the amazing stepovers puts it along the deck as well. And Saka sweats it in. David De Gea capitulates. And that could be United's title challenge gone. You're done out here. 2 1 we lead. Come on, blow the whistle, whistle ref. Oh, we've beaten United twice in today's episode. That is so so awesome oh my god what a glorious victory and now we have the FA Cup final against Manchester City Whew. hopefully we can do it alright let's play this one our first opportunity of this Arsenal career series on Fifa's Realism Mod we have an opportunity to win a trophy. The FA Cup final against Manchester City. Let's have a look at the team. Isaac Odegaard, 87 rated. Sterling, 88. Saka, 84. My players have shot up in stats because it now looks likely that we're probably going to make top four or finish in fifth. And we've got potentially a trophy under our belt. Touchwood, hopefully we can get over the line. But so far, our performances at Wembley have been next point. All right, let's get stuck into Man City. Pep Guardiola are playing with uh, Jamie Vardy up top, which is hilarious. Hopefully he doesn't score against me. But anyway, here we go. This could decide whether or not season one is a success or it's just a rebuilding season. Ball in, in Babu. Nice little bit of trickery. Gets the back heel. Odegaard encroaching into the box. Can't spin Rodri either. Damn it. Sanchez. Isaac. Arsenal wanting to go forward. Sterling. Nice one to pass. Calls it well. Thomas Partey receives it in the midfield. Looking for the layoff of Odegaard. Saka. Waits for fellow Arsenal support. Isaac turns. Sterling on the volley. Oh, he should have released it. Jack Grealish back to Silva, who chops to Riyad Mahrez. Come on, close this down. Ball up, get it clear, get it clear. Oh my god, a bicycle kick. This is massive. Rahim facing his former side. Second half now. It's all tied up in the FA Cup final. You'd nearly back Arsenal's record for us to win this, to be honest. But Manchester City have just such a good team. I don't know. Silva. Jack Grealish goes for goal and gets it. 1-0, unfortunately, concede. Bit of a long-ranging attempt. But it was Jack Grealish to score a special goal here at Wembley. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I just feel like Leno... 
potentially we could deal with like one better centre back as well. Hmm. We're still not elite all over the pitch. Mbabu's good, but even him and him himself isn't that high of a rated player. Like you can't do much about a great ball in from De Bruyne. And then Jack Grealish, who's worth a hundred million pounds no less, to put them in front. Two goals in the FA Cup campaign. Manchester City now lead. Silver goes off, and they bring on Gundogan. Wow, the depth of this squad is insane. They've even got a better sub uh, substitution or bench than us as well. Hmm. Come on, Arsenal. The Gunners need to answer quickly. As De Bruyne pushes towards the defense. Mahrez on the right. Back to De Bruyne. He might go all the way himself. No, he finds Gundogan. Dude, he's just dominating me. Arsenal containing well in the defense. Couple flicks on. Jack. Oh, wow. Got to get it to Jack Grealish there. He's just scored a magnificent brace. And once again, who was that at the back? It was either De Nier or Gabriel. I know Gabriel doesn't have the pace, but you've got to be doing better than that, De Nier. Couldn't even catch him. And Jack Grealish scores another amazing goal. We're 2-0 down to Pep Guardiola. This could be game, set, match. It's going to be very hard to get back from this position. Leno trying to bring it out from the back. Bombs it north to Sterling. Who can't win the header. But he's going to have to press. Come on. Laporte. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, good interception. Thomas Party, hold on to the possession. Don't waste it. Odegaard seeds the run of Sanchez. Dude, this guy knows. When a goal needs to be scored. What a strike. A stick of dynamite. A wonder goal at Wembley. Sanchez brings it back to 2-1. And we have a chance. We have a glimmer of hope. <laughs> but it's the hope that kills you. Oh my god. Let's look at the run. He knew he just had to go for it as well. Renato Sanchez from central midfield. Absolutely hooks it. Into the back of the net. Edison. No chance. Arsenal make it 2-1. Sanchez scores his third goal in five matches. His third cup goal. And what a goal it is. Gwendozi's coming on for Tomas Pate. All right. Come on. How are you, the lads? Isaac. Saka's in so much space over there. Oh, it's actually Sterling. Rahim. Nah, terrible. That could be it. Come on, press Gwendozi. There we go. We want it back in a dangerous area. Gwendozi goes all the way himself. Oh, my God. It's an 89th minute equaliser, and it's the man, the myth, the legend, Gwen Dozy, off the bench. Oh, I nearly laid it off to the runner, but I thought he was going to get caught. What a superb tackle. Yeah, he might have... Oh, he just had to go all the way himself. Near post OP. Oh my god, look at that. Rifles it into the top of the netting, and it's 2-2. It's a Desmond in the cup final. Let's go. All right, we're into extra time now. Way too close for my liking. Sterling. Gwendozi. Come on, Isaac. <gasps> oh, my God. A scissor kick. Wasn't there a bicycle kick attempt early on? Oh, my God. That could have been the winner. That would have been total football. If that went in. But the FIFA gods weren't smiling upon us, unfortunately. Raheem Sterling. Raheem the Dream puts the ball in. Second half of extra time. Wendozi. 
He's played well since coming on. But some like they bring on Gundogan. We have Wendozi. Like <laughs> they've just got so much investment compared to me. Oh my god. I've hit the post. Sanchez could have had the winner there, and it's gonna go to Pens. Uh this is not good. I, I I don't know if I should mention it, but we've had two penalty shootouts this season. Can you remember how many we've won? Zero. We lost two. Calvert Lewin steps up. Oh, and Edison saves. Vardy converts. Yeah. Oh, just Leno is just not the same goalkeeper as Edison. Isaac oh, misses as well. That's two in a row. De Bruyne. Oh, saved Leno. Good stuff. Come on, Rahim. Score against your former side and celebrate. And he does. 1-1. One, one. Gundogan steps up. Oh, and he's just tucked that one in. Top right bins. Sanchez. An amazing last half of the season. No. Oh, he predicted me going straight down the middle. Riyad Mahrez. Um, if he scores this, that's the winner. I think. I could be wrong. No, he saved. Oh. Okay. Odegaard needs to convert this one, definitely. Come on, come on, come on. Martin Odegaard steps up. And misses. That's it. Arsenal lose to Manchester City on penalties in the FA Cup final. Oh, that's so disappointing. We went all the way to an FA Cup final just to lose on pens. That's our third penalty shootout loss this season. To be fair, the teams aren't really equal, but oh, just so gutting, man. To be fair, maybe I'm being harsh on myself with this team. Our first season, I'm learning. I'm getting the ropes at Arsenal. Like... An FA Cup final, although we lost, still pretty good performance. Like, it's not like we got smashed by City either. We drew 2-2 and took them to pens. But now they win the FA Cup under Pep. Really would have liked that. Alright, so we had a match in the Premier League. We managed to beat them 2-0. Thanks to a Renato Sanchez goal to start things off at St. James's Park. And then we managed to beat Everton 3-1, thanks to a Sanchez brace. This dude has been on fire in the last month. So, unfortunately, Jamie Vardy wins the golden boot. And with that match against Everton, that was the last match of the season. So, after 38 games played, check this out. We finish in fourth with 88 points, drawing... With Chelsea, a point ahead of Manchester City. Liverpool win the league on 100 points. Man United in second with 94. We only just... <laughs> wait, Manchester City qualified for the Europa League with 87 points. That's the realism mod for you. Like, the points percentage per team is insane. And it's really quite awesome. Brentford, Watford, Norwich getting relegated. Newcastle survived the drop. Burnley in 13th. Moisey makes top 8. And we've got Champions League football next season. So, we end Season 1 with Champions League football, which is amazing, but trophyless otherwise. Uh, Spurs won the Carabao Cup under Antonio Conte, and Bayern Munich won the Champions League over Inter Milan. Wolfsburg beat Napoli in the Europa League, which is a huge upset, and Spurs win the Conference League. They win two trophies back-to-back, -back, and the World Cup is still yet to be played. There's the team. Isaac has gone to an 87, along with Odegaard. There's been some huge overall boosts. But I still think there's players to be added in Season 2. And improvements maybe in two positions in our starting 11. And maybe a bit of squad depth. But Odegaard went up a plus 5 this season, which is incredible. Isaac with a plus 5 as well. Well deserved. Leno went up a plus 2. Tierney with a plus 5. Sanchez with a plus five, Gabriel with a plus five, Thomas Partey with a plus one, Denier, Saka, Dominic Calvert-Lewin went up a bit, Mbabu as well, Bellerin didn't go up because he just got recently called, and Smith Rowe only went up a plus two as well. I would have liked the growth of some of my youngsters, but my first team players 
really shot up in stats. White and Ramsdale getting first team football on loan didn't really go up either. But there's still a lot to do in this Arsenal career series. Our top goal scorer was Isaac with 20, followed by Sanchez, which is surprising. You'd think Odegaard would score more. Sterling has scored 12, but that might be a bit deceiving because he did sign in January. Sterling is our most valuable player, followed by Odegaard and Isaac. Dude, we signed him for like... Um, well, it was really like 30 mil. Now he's worth 70, Isaac. All right. So, Youth Academy-Y, still got that going. So, after 51 games played, we won 39, drew 1, and lost 11. Our biggest win was against Burnley. And our biggest defeat was against Chelsea. We've got some potential job opportunities that I could accept, but I'm not going to because I will be doing Season 2 of the Arsenal Career Series. So we're going to end things here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Season 1, Episode 6. Stay tuned for Season 2, Episode 1 coming out tomorrow where we're going to have Champions League football. Hopefully we can make Top 4 again. I want to try next season win the Premier League, which I don't know if we're going to be able to, particularly on this realism mod. Like, we're going to need to get 100 points to win it, which would be insane. Depends how much squad depth we get in. Like, we're going to need to get some world-class and elite players. So, let me know in the comments who you'd like me to sign. I think I want to try and get a new goalkeeper who's, like, I don't know, 85, rated plus. Uh, we probably could get a better right-back as well. Then Mbabu could be rotational. I, I th although I like Denier and Gabriel at the back. We could do with like an 86 rated center back as well. Tierney's amazing. We're not going to move him. Thomas Partey is aging. So we could look to potentially maybe drop into the substitutions or get someone else. Like the team's nearly 87 rated. So 80. I want to try and get an 88 rated at least. Uh, I'm not going to touch Renato Sanchez or Odegaard. Sterling's been awesome. Same with Saka and Isaac. But yeah, Izek is my main number nine, if you haven't already assumed. Now, uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, bit of a controversial season. Um, I did basically play him and, and rotated him and Izek at the start quite frequently, but Izek was the man to really step up, and Dominic Calvert-Lewin is basically my second choice rotational striker. But anyway, stay tuned for the next video coming out tomorrow. Go say thank you to someone's patrons and channel members. And I'm going to play the outro now. Take care, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Shame we didn't win a um, trophy, but hopefully we can fix that next season. Okay, take care, guys. Bye. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. So thanks, guys. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.